Hey, this is Eric, and this video is one in a series on AI tools for education. In this video, we're taking a look at Scribble Diffusion. You can access the full list of all of the AI tools, videos, and links at bit.ly slash Kurtz dash AI tools. So Scribble Diffusion is a free open source AI powered web app that lets you draw a rough sketch and then add a text prompt and then it generates an image based upon your sketch and your prompt. So this is one of those AI text to image generators, but it's a text and sketch to image generator, which is really neat, adds a little twist on there. So just like any of these AI image generators, this is fantastic. If you need to generate images for content that you're creating, like a slideshow or a document or a website, uh, maybe generating images to serve as a writing prompt or a story starter for students or to illustrate stories. Maybe a student has written a story or a poem and we want to have some images that go along with it. We can't find something that matches. We could have a, you know, sketch out the little sketch and put in a description and generate those images. Uh, and of course, once the images are created, you can download them and use them any way you'd like. So let's pop on over to the Scribble Diffusion website um, and you'll see it already has uh, an example put in here for us. We can just use the one that's in here if we want. Uh, if not, you can hit clear and you can just draw your own example in there uh, to save a little time. I'll just I'll go with the one they've got here already. That is totally fine. Um, and then we can give a description down below. In this case, a goofy owl is what they put in. But again, up to you. You draw the sketch of what you want and then you put in the description of what it's going to be. Let's go ahead and just hit the go button there and give it a moment to do its thing. And so basically what's happening is it's going to take the sketch that we've drawn. Well, in this case, I know I didn't draw it, but the sketch that I could have drawn and it will take the description that we've given it. And then over here on the side, it's going to generate that image. And there we go. Here is our image. And it did a really nice job. So you can see it's matching the general sketch of the image um, and it has created that app. Now I can simply right click on that owl and I can uh, save the image, download that to my computer, or I can just copy it and just paste it into a slideshow or paste it into a document and that'll work fine. If for any reason I'm like, oh, you know, I'm not really happy with that particular owl, you can just go up and click the go button again and it will just do another one. You can run it more than once. That's totally fine. It'll, it'll generate another one. They'll be similar, but it'll be a little bit, you know, different each time. Now, if you wanted to, of course, you could always modify the original. If you're like, well, okay, I did a couple goofy owls and none of them are quite doing exactly what I was looking for there. You could come up and you could either redraw it or add something new to there, or you could even adjust the prompt. Like I could say a goofy owl in the style of a Vincent Van Gogh painting. And now if I run it, we should be getting something that probably I'm going to guess is going to look like starry night. Perhaps will be some of those swirls and stuff like that in there. I'm assuming that's probably what it's going to do. So if you're not getting what you're looking for the first time, either change the picture or change the description or both. And uh, again, once that generates, we should have a uh, another owl here this time, I'm assuming, uh, with a little bit of a Vincent Van Gogh-esque um, uh, uh, style there. Taking a little bit longer for this one, uh, we'll give it a little bit of time. If that doesn't pop up soon, we'll just swing back around and take a look at it later and see what it ends up. Oh, and there it did come. Okay. So, and yes, look at it. Very much so. I, do, I am getting the Starry Nights vibe. That's a really great picture. I'm actually really happy with that. And again, you could just right click on it and say save, or you could hit copy image and you could just copy and paste it and use it however you want. When it comes to pricing, there actually is no price <laughs> for Scribble Diffusion. It is just free. So this is a free tool that you're allowed to use and anything you create, you're allowed to use however you would like to. So an awesome AI text and sketch to image generator. And for all my other resources, check out my blog at controlaltachieve.com. And to connect with me, go to bit.ly slash CAA connect, where you'll find all of my social media links, email, newsletter, and more.